Supporting live comedy. Hey! I'm very glad to be doing stand up myself. I think it's a wonderful thing to do. I think it's a great way to meet people as well. And I can appreciate that because when I meet people, I tend to confuse them a bit because my voice and face don't match. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I sound like I teach Latin and I look like I punch geese. <laughs> and I'm experimenting a lot with my style to try and make up for it. Like, uh, like growing this beard. I like having this beard because without this, I tend to look like Wreck It Ralph. And, uh, <laughs> No, no I'm, d I'm a fool to myself, though. I know that in 20 years I will just be Walter from The Big Lebowski. So, <laughs> I'm crap in tonight, excellent. Uh, okay, so I do comedy for many reasons. One of the main ones is that I suffer from depression, have done for ages, and then I got into comedy in order to bring some more positivity into my life, you know, meet new people, get laid more. But it turns out I actually now just hang out with older guys going through similar issues. <laughs> I was taken from work into hospital and diagnosed with a heart condition called atrial fibrillation. Now, if you don't know what that means, it means it's when your heart does this. My heart did this for more than a day. And I was taken into hospital for it. The doctors were very kind about it. They explained to me that this actually can be induced by stress. And it's also, it turns out, it's actually a lot more common than you might think with men over 60. So... <laughs> And then immediately after being told that, I was wheeled into a ward with three very old men, two of which were definitely dying, and then and just had to fight for their lives. Well, there's, there's me in my mid-twenties in the corner on a mobile to my parents just saying, I just wanted to let you know I'm in hospital. I've got atrial fibrillation, but I'm staying very calm. <laughs> I first attempted stand-up when I was 18, and I was weak, I was dumb, I was barely able to speak in public, and I'm glad I didn't embrace myself back then. Because since then, I have done so, uh, uh, since, well, since taking up comedy, I have done some fantastic gigs, I have done some horrendous gigs, but above all, I have now met many, many, many of the most, most talented, uh, d d wonderful, admirable people that I have ever had the pleasure of chatting to and laughing at. Isn't that right, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> yes. of his fellow moshers shall be thought of when tickets are going spare. <laughs> <laughs> Thou shalt always keep a satisfying stash of intoxicants and only give up conventional cigarettes if your bird insists. <laughs> and sure enough, she stayed in my sight. I love anticipation for this moment. And she did not disappoint. <laughs> Now, I was just a boy. It was a cold morning in November. I woke wearing my brand new postman fat pajamas. <laughs> I say brand new as my mum had to buy me a new pair since I burnt the eyes out of my last ones. <laughs> <laughs> it was dark outside, which I knew was odd as I'd always woken up after the sun had risen. I had a vague recollection of hearing some sound of blood clattering, like a goose flying into a traffic signal. <laughs> I got out of bed and walked past my S Club 7 poster. <laughs> <laughs> I went downstairs, eager for my breakfast. Ooh, a fly. <laughs> <laughs> I was put beside a gargoyle overlooking the scenery, carry on my wayward son playing on my iPod Nano. <laughs> Trust the air filling my lungs. My part time wages barely covering the cost of my Pret a Manger sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the few drinks you stab first. <laughs> <laughs> it was a gradual realization dawning on me like a first pube. <laughs> I looked around, everybody, and I mean everybody, was paired up, gazing into each other's eyes, mouthing the words, I love you. How irritating. <laughs> and there I was, a mere solo among the duets, yet again. I, I never felt so insecure in my, my life. Uh, everything just sort of flashed before me. Uh, how empty I was. Do you want to know? Do you want to know how empty? Do you want to know how empty I was? Do you know how empty it was? 